Hi everyone, in today's video I went back to the Disney Character Warehouse to see what new things they had. A little birdie told me that they had Christmas ears on sale for $4.99, however they were sold out by the time I got here. A couple of Christmas items that were new this visit was the Santa hat with the Mickey ears for $4.99 and this plush blanket that was $25.99. And if I didn't already have so many blankets, I would have been tempted to get it. The Star Wars plushes cost between $10 to $12 and this unicorn was $16. I came across this Olaf stocking, which I believe was around $8. These Christmas mugs were here last time, but something that is new is this Loungefly bag and wallet. They had the bag listed for $40 and the wallet listed for $31. I did pass on it though, because currently I just don't need any project bags. Now I did think this ornament set is so super cute and it would match my pajamas I have, but for $20, bucks, i did not need it that much. They had a handful of these Christmas countdowns and they cost around $28 each. All of these ornaments basically range from around $7 to $10. I did pick up one, but you'll have to wait to the end to see which one I chose. And as I'm browsing through these ornaments, let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. One thing I noticed during the shopping trip is that the children's accessories and toys weren't out, so I don't know if they just put them in the back to make room for it. the Christmas decorations and ornaments, but it was something that I missed because I was coming here shopping for my niece and it turned out to be a little bit of a flop. And that's not to say that they didn't have anything directed toward kids, it's just not as much as they usually have and I was kind of going in there looking for princesses and pink and girly stuff like that and I just didn't really find any. Although I didn't end up getting it, I did think this Guardians of the Galaxy cassette tape was really cool. Also, I apologize for my camera angles. I did try to film better in here than my previous time. However, looking back at the footage, I'm like, yeesh. This store is fairly small though, so I'm always trying to get the product in the video while respectfully not getting people in it. I've seen these same avatar purses well over a year ago in the store. I think instead of 20 bucks, they probably got to mark it down to $10 just to get rid of them. In this section, they had a ton of jean material stuff from jackets to dresses to overalls to even a card holder. So I thought that was pretty neat. They had VHS plushes. This is my first time seeing them. They only had a small selection of ears and I'm not crazy about these band ones. However, I did get these Haunted Mansion ones. Last time when I was here, I bought this sweatshirt dress for 20 bucks. It's now on sale for 15. I consider this part of the store their Halloween section, which was small, but at least they had some Haunted Mini, some Haunted Mansion. They had some Hocus Pocus themed items like this purple cat craft, which I thought was actually really cute. Do I need it for $16? Probably not. Now one thing I saw that I had to pick up was this raggedy old wig that I'm sure some parent had their kid try on and then just threw back to the side because that's what humans do. Now this is the first time I'm seeing fig pins in the Disney Character Warehouse. They're usually around $16 so these were half off at around $8 so that's a really good deal. I thought these Toy Story coin purse keychains were absolutely adorable. You could probably only keep about $2 and change in there but still cute. Now this I was surprised about seeing. This is part of the 50th anniversary spirit jersey collection and I think the price tag said it was around $114 on sale for around $45. It makes me think if Disney just made way too much merchandise for the 50th or if it has to do with the prices because $115 for a spirit jersey I feel like that's a bit hefty. All of the mugs on this wall ranged in price from around $8 to $11. I remember the good old days when I think all the mugs were around $4.99. I missed that price point. Still though, beats retail price. These Dooney bags were here during my last visit, which was a while back. So either they're not selling or they definitely had way too many of these bags. They're all still over $100 price point and I did notice this one was new. I think this one's really cool. For just $75, you can own this Coach t-shirt. No thanks. On the other hand, this chip nutcracker for $30 is a lot more reasonable and a lot more adorable in my opinion. This animal hoodie was $30 marked down from $60. I really like the colors and vibes of it. And this Star Wars Spear jersey was only $25, which is a great deal. However, they only had size extra small. Another great deal I came across was this Daniel Nicole bag, originally $75 on sale for $20. I'm not too much of a Marvel fan, but had I been, I definitely would have picked this up because I think this purse is super pretty. And before I head out of the store, I just want to show you this other lounge fly bag that I came across. They had it marked down to $58, and with that, let's see what I picked up. I will say, I only picked up two items, and one of them being these Haunted Mansion ears. These at retail were $40, and they were marked down to $10, and this pair was the last one in the store. I went shopping on Monday, so I'm just assuming over the weekend the whole store got picked through, so I count myself lucky for getting these. The second item I got is actually a gift for my boyfriend for Christmas time, and it's the sloth from Zootopia. And if by chance you don't know, this little guy's name is Flash. He is the fastest sloth working at the DMV. It will only take him a full workday to look up a license plate number. 
Had I paid full retail for both of these items, they would have cost over $60, which is a bit outrageous if you ask me. $40 being the ears and $23 being the ornament. However, Disney Character Warehouse, it only cost me around $18, so not bad. And with that, that's about it for this video. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. If you want, feel free to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye friends.